Hey guys, this is Rowan Fox running for Kids First. Today we're here at the Cities of the Future competition and we're going to be speaking to some of the contestants, the judges and members of the um, community. Um, Chima? Isaac. Um, so it depends on hydroelectric energy, which is a renewable resource and can ma it makes it makes it more environmental friendly. Uh, my favorite part about the city is the hydroelectric uh, uh, part. It generates uh, friendly electricity and does not create generate any pollution. I also like the hydroelectric electric plant because it helps reduce pollution and it also creates a lot of energy. Uh, over here we have housing, so housing is like important to the neighborhood. So um, yeah, so these are the touristic attractions that. Uh, people come to come to our city for so that make our hotels very popular in the city and uh, such as our beaches as well who are, that are very popular. Okay, um, I see also like lights and wires around the city. What are their like purpose? So um, uh, originally we had the lights as part of decoration um, and then it didn't uh, work out. They didn't go all the way around, but that's their initial purpose. Yeah. Like your water power? Yeah, uh, so we do get water most, mostly from our river but, um, and through our, our roads, uh, runoff from our roads, but uh, we decided that it would be a good idea to have an emergency water storage just in case um, we couldn't access it for a while. Now I'm here with Eric Mesger, who is a judge at the Future City competition. What are you looking for in a project? Well, I'm judging uh, one of the special event categories, and I'm looking at the best transportation system. So I work as a transportation engineer, so I'm trying to look for something that's very innovative, something that would uh, work well, doesn't cause a lot of uh, congestion within the city. Okay, what's your, what's your favorite project that you've seen so far? Personal uh, favorite. I think there was like, there was like three projects that had maglev trains that were uh, really interesting. And uh, I think there was another two projects that had an airport that was suspended in the air and it didn't take up a lot of space. So it was very interesting. Citizens who don't have, and the buses are ultra hydropowered, and the water is treated here at our sewage treatment plant and water treatment plant that takes old water and makes it potable again. And um, citizens who don't have cars and have jobs within the city, bikes are supplied to them so that we can save water. Our main production of income is silk. We have silk farms over here. We harvest the silk and it's made into fine clothing, which is then shipped out. Education. Okay, uh, so we'll we have education, um, are all our schools have smart boards and have, our students are supplied with tablets so that they can keep up to date with the classwork and use it to check their email and work on stuff that's on the tablet to do. We also have an airport here. We be able to come in and out and we also supply construction materials and granite and stuff. At the Graves Center. And we have an 86% college graduation thing, like rate, and this is the 86. And this is our community college. Our schools are magnet schools, so that kids can start following their passions at an early age. Thank yeah, you. And the airport is called the Con Airport, named or the Con International Airport, named after the Nicholas Cage classic. Okay. And that is it. And we have lots of parks. Yeah, help the environment and people's lives. Thank you. Okay, so you are next. Uh, Drew? I'm Drew. Drew? I'm Valentino. Valentino. I'm Carmen. From, from uh, Columbus Secondary. Yes. Yeah, Columbus okay. Secondary. Thanks for being here. So, we just have to, after taking a look at some incredible projects at the City of the Future competition.
This is Roland Fox from Kids First signing out. Bye!